If we could prove beyond doubt that our continued posit of an ancient, once highly advanced yet pre-Ice Age civilization once existing here on our planet, we would literally have to rewrite our understandings of antiquity. We have covered numerous sites, found submerged all around the world. Yet, unfortunately, due to their proximity to islands and the continental regions they are found amongst, many are dismissed as merely being 5 to 10,000 year old ruins, fitting with modern paradigm and, alas, avoiding controversy or the questions which inevitably follow. Yet, our next site of interest may turn out to not only be that most important of submerged ruins ever found on Earth but the smoking gun previously mentioned. On the 19th of May 2001, India's Union Minister for the Science and Technology Division, Murli Manohar Joshi, announced that the ruins of an ancient civilization had been discovered off the coast of Gujarat, in the Gulf of Kambahat. The site was discovered by INOT, National Institute for Ocean Technology. Using sonar, the discovered ruin is now being strongly argued as definitively pre-Ice Age, yet also advanced in nature. NIOT went on to describe an area of regularly spaced artificial structures. Located 20 kilometers from the Gujarat coast and spans 9 kilometers, Joshi claims the site as an urban settlement that predates the Indus Valley Civilization. Further descriptions of the site by Joshi describe it as containing regularly spaced dwellings, a granary, a bath, a citadel, and a drainage system. According to Wiki, quote, the structures and artifacts discovered by NIOT are the subject of contention. The major disputes surrounding the Gulf of Combat cultural complex are claims about the existence of submerged city-like structures, the difficulty associating dated artifacts with the site itself, and disputes about whether stone artifacts recovered at the site are actually geofacts or artifacts. One major complaint is that artifacts at the site were recovered by dredging, instead of being recovered during a controlled archaeological excavation." End quote. Simply put, due to the fact that it has not been excavated properly, and we predict probably never will, academia are dismissing this ancient city as simply unconfirmed. We feel a quite ridiculous position to take despite NIOT's supporting data of its existence due to its accidental discovery, presumably via dredging. We find the marine archaeology in the Gulf of Kambat highly compelling. <laughs>